hey guys what's up what's going on welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to another brand new video on kitchen tonic in this video today we're going to be making some nice and tasty aki and salt fish to start off the ingredients that we're going to be using for this video are some fresh thyme i went ahead and removed the longer stems from the thyme because i don't really want to incorporate that into my recipe but if you do by all means go for it i have one teaspoon of fresh parsley over here i have half a teaspoon of black pepper this is half of a hot pepper three cloves of garlic some spring onion some regular onion this is one medium sized regular onion i have my aki and of course my salt fish and to give you a back story of what I have done with this saltfish so far. I went ahead and boiled it two times. And yes, you heard me right. I boiled this saltfish twice because I needed to get rid of all the excess salt that's on my that was on my saltfish. And that's also why we're not gonna be using any salt in this recipe today because there may still be some salt left on the saltfish and you don't want to overcrowd your recipe with too much salt. And after I finished boiling my saltfish, I went ahead and used a fork and I broke it, broke up the pieces of saltfish, which is more manageable and more desirable. And that is all the ingredients we're going to be using today in this video. And we're going to jump over to my stove now where I have about a teaspoon of olive oil already heating up and we're going to start this recipe. All right guys, so here I have my pan on the fire with my oils already hot enough to start cooking. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm gonna place my onions into my frying pan. As well as my garlic. This is three cloves of garlic, guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and let those saute for about a minute and a half and then I'll continue adding the rest of my ingredients. I should also mention that this recipe that I'm making here today is completely customizable. You can add green peppers, you can add bell peppers, you can add tomatoes, you can add whatever you wanna add, but this is how I make my version. You can add whatever you want to your version. After about a minute and a half has passed, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my salt fish neck. And you're just gonna go ahead and stir this around a little. Let the salt fish release all of its flavors as well as absorb flavors from the onion and the garlic. After about two minutes of adding my salt fish to the pan and continuously mixing it, I'm gonna go ahead and add my thyme into my pan, my fine leaf thyme, as well as my parsley flakes, my black pepper, and my hot onion. My hot pepper, sorry about that. I don't know why I would mistake a bright red pepper for an onion. Maybe it's just because it's early in the morning, who knows? Or maybe it's because I'm hungry and can't wait to eat.
All right, guys, so I am going to add about a teaspoon more of oil to my pan because my saltfish has dried out my oil and it's starting to stick to the bottom of my pan. So I'm going to add about a drop more of oil to my pan. All right, so after about two and a half minutes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and add my spring onions now. I'm also going to go ahead and add my aki to this recipe. And that your aki should be the last thing that you add because while you're stirring your pot, you don't want your aki to fall apart too much. I'm also going to reduce my heat right now to about medium to low guys. And that is really about it guys. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to join me another time, another day for another tasty recipe.